Let's have a look at this word problem to examine some of the strategies we have for dealing with quadratic problems. An object is launched at 19.6 meters per second from a 58.8 meter tall platform. The equation for the object's height, s, at a time in seconds after launch is given by the equation h of t is equal to negative 4.9 t squared plus 19.6 t plus 58.8, where h is the height in meters. One important thing to note here, the number in the quadratic that has absolutely no variable attached to it is the height of the platform. We often call this the constant term because it will not change. In questions where something is starting at a certain height, or it has a starting value, that's most likely going to be your constant term. Back to the question though. The question is, when does the object strike the ground? Our solution. The problem is asking us to find the time when h at t is equal to zero. These are the values when the function equals zero, and we call them roots. So we're looking for the roots of this equation. We have three methods to find the roots right now. Our first method is by graph. But remember that we would have to graph negative 4 decimal 9 t squared, that equation h of t. This could be perhaps just too difficult. The next is by factoring. Factoring could work. We'd have to examine to see if there's a common factor first. Otherwise, we may want to just go ahead and use the quadratic formula. There's actually a rather simple factor. So that'll be the strategy that we take on. First, let's look at h at t. If we set that equal to 0, we can now begin looking for factors. Always try examining the, the coefficient of the quadratic section. That negative 4.9, if it divides evenly into all of the other terms, could make this into a rather simple factoring question. As we test it on our calculator, we find that we do have a common factor of negative 4.9. So we'll divide through by the factor. We have to divide each term on either side of the equation. So 0 divided by 4.9 will leave us with 0. Negative 4.9 divided by negative 4.9 will leave us with the t squared that was associated with that first term. 19.6t divided by negative 4.9 will leave us with negative 4t. And positive 58.8 divided by negative 4.9 will leave us with negative 12. We now have a question that factors easily. The first step is to examine, since we have a simple trinomial, the last number. We are looking for all of the factor pairs of the number 12. These are given off to the side. 12 is broken into 12 times 1, 6 times 2, and 4 times 3. And again, since it's a simple trinomial, we know our solution will look something like this. Two binomials multiplied together with t in the front of each of the binomials. We'll use our sign rule. The first negative sign tells us that we're going to have a negative. This also tells us that the largest of the factors is going to be negative when we do our check. The second negative sign indicates that we're going to have opposite signs. So we'll have a positive. And this will correspond with the positive factors, the smaller factors of 12. So next we need to check to see which numbers work. Well, negative 12 plus positive 1 does not equal negative 4. So we cross it off. 6, negative 6 plus positive 2 does equal negative 4. So those will be the numbers that we use. So our first factor will be negative 6, and our second factor will be positive 2. 
Since the question factors easily, there's no point in using the quadratic formula. We see that the roots of our quadratic are 6 and negative 2. And again, 6 and negative 2 is simply taken by the fact that 0 is equal to t minus 6, t plus 2. We take the opposite signs. These roots represent the value of the time when the object is on the ground. So since negative time makes no sense, we state that the object hits the ground after 6 seconds. It wouldn't make sense to say that the object hits the ground after negative 2 seconds.